let's go ahead and move on. Uh, I mean, man, this is going to be a lot of free agency talk. Uh, the Bears are supposedly showing interest in Kenny Galladay, Sammy Watkins, and Corey Davis. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and start off right now. Uh, reactions, man, I'd be all for Kenny Galladay coming here. I think that he, you know, I'm going to get a lot of a lot of hate for this, but I think that he can definitely become a better wide receiver than Allen Robinson. Uh, he, his, he's more physically dominant. Uh, physically imposing. Uh, he's he's got. I I feel like he's a more explosive player too, uh, even though he is bigger. Sammy Watkins, another explosive option. He's gonna get a, a a pretty cheap contract. Actually, I think it makes a lot of sense. The Bears were rumored to be in on him back before he signed with Kansas City. And then Corey Davis. I think that if you can get the duo of Corey Davis and Sammy Watkins as together i think that would be a pretty good wide receiver core and one with a lot of op- upside you know it's it's not you're not concentrating all your money into kenny galladay but maybe going you know spreading it over the two contracts of Corey davis and sammy watkins i think that could be you know a, a real great option for the bears sammy watkins though has a lot of injury history by the way yeah it I would be correct in saying that Sammy Watkins is definitely going to be the cheapest of this bunch, right? Because I know sure. he's cur- currently on a $9 million contract right now. Um, you know, didn't put up the greatest numbers. Of course, in Kansas City, he's not really needed. He's like one of like six receivers that can, <laughs> you know, be a threat on that team, which isn't a knock on him at all. They just have so many weapons. And I, I think that, you know, maybe he ends up getting, what, a 10 10- ish 11 12 Maybe. million dollar i think contract. that's like i think Corey or, davis is more in that range i think sammy is probably gonna, gonna be s- like seven to nine i would say okay i was gonna say Corey davis was at least like a 12 to 15 possible he could player. get up and to 15 depending on you know was, you never know with these guys these guys i mean he's put up some skyrocket even in this past year where he had a couple setbacks he put up close to a thousand yards um, and he's and, and he's huge he's physically imposing yeah and he also has to split catches with players like A.J. Brown. There's other targets on that team, so he's not even the main focal point. I think he would also be a great pickup. Kenny Galladay, I'm with you. I mean, I got to see him play at NIU. I think that, you know, he has anything, everything that you want in, like, that jump ball receiver. He has a great instinct for the ball. He comes with some pretty miraculous catches through traffic, you know, People will like the possession, you know, part of receiving that Allen Robinson brings, you know, a lot of those pro football focus PFF things that they put up there where Allen Robinson always has the best score. You know, one of the guys that's right up there with him is Kenny Galladay. Usually, um, I, I think that Kenny Galladay and Corey Davis are certainly, you know, the best possible pickups there. I could see them, you know, maybe not getting them because they would, cost a bit more but if you let Robinson walk then you're you know have some space to work with at the very least if you end up with someone like Sammy Watkins for whoever's gonna be a quarterback as long as he can stay on the field which is a bit of an if I will admit that but if he can stay on the field he's definitely gonna be an asset and you bring in also keeping people like Mooney Mm -hmm. uh, if they keep someone like Graham they're gonna have a a decent amount to work with hopefully they could bring in a, a couple more receivers if they could do the Corey Davis and Sammy Watkins, I mean, excellent. That's but money. I that, feel like that's that might be a little dreaming, a little bit. That could that could be a little bit. It, it really is going to depend how concerned people are with Sammy Watkins' injury history because it is very vast. Corey Davis, really good player. Uh, you know, Kenny Galladay. I think that he's going to be right up there with Allen Robinson contract numbers. But I can see how teams view him as a better value than someone like Allen Robinson. I just I feel with Allen Robinson, you don't get anything spectacular. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I just I've point. never I've never felt I've never felt Allen Robinson has ever been that game breaker. Whereas I feel like Kenny Galladay, man, if you put him on a team that's actually good and not the Lions, it, it's almost unimaginable how good he could potentially become. Yeah, he reminds me of a receiver like Vincent Jackson, honestly, mm-hmm. back in the day with the Chargers that just has that great instinct on the ball and it doesn't matter if he's double covered if it's a jump ball he's gonna end up coming away with it he's a, he would be the closest thing to brandon marshall that we would have had you know yeah, closest thing true um and, and those kind of receivers yeah. are a quarterback's friend honestly where you can throw it up there and he's especially gonna a young quarterback air. a young quarterback yeah. too Hey guys, like our video, subscribe, and check out our bi-weekly podcast on Apple Podcasts. Thanks.